Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had finished the SSN completely, missing every piece of that party I'm betting due to random trainer battles. And we walked in on a very awkward scene of Gary giving a back rub to the ship's captain. Yes, that's how it happened. Well, now to keep our mouths quiet, that ship's captain gave us the cut, HM. Yes, that's how it happened. Did we give a back rub to the ship's captain? No, that was Gary. Now, in this area, there are three Pokemon that we have not caught yet. One of them we've seen, two of them we haven't. So this is the first one. Magikarp is a water type that is absolutely useless. At level one, it has Splash. It doesn't get anything at all till level 15, which is Tackle. It cannot learn any TMs or HMs, and its only redeeming quality is that it can evolve into Gyarados at level 20. But in Generation 1, Gyarados isn't as obscenely powerful as it is in future generations. Magikarp got its name from Magic and Carp. And now let's catch one of the hardest Pokémon for us to catch in the game at this point in time. Yeah, I know, it's a Magikarp. And, yeah, I know that it has absolutely nothing. But believe it or not, this is going to be a difficult catch for us. Because we're kind of worried that we're just going to kill it in one shot. So, now what I have done is I have used that cut TM, or cut HM, excuse me, on this sand shrew. Because we didn't have any party member that I wanted to use cut on. So hopefully, Scratch will weaken Magikarp enough to catch it without wiping it out. And this Sand Shrew can actually use the Cut TM, or HM. Oh, I'm gonna get that wrong off it. And it seems to work. Okay, so now we are just going to throw out a Pokeball and see if we can catch our very own Magikarp. Wonderful. Okay. So now what I've also done is the last time I had gone to Cerulean City, I had gone to see the Pokemon Babysitter. And I had taken that Magikarp out and um, given it to the Pokemon Babysitter. So we will go back to Cerulean and we will get a Gyarados. Sleeping Pokemon. Hey, I've seen that sleeping Pokemon. Oh, okay. Okay. Diglett's Cave. Okay, and this is our next step. Yes, we have seen Diglett. Right to Viridian. Cool, I guess we can go back there then. Now, before we go any farther, yes, we have seen Diglett, but we have not seen Diglett's evolutionary form. So, here we go. Dugtrio is a ground-type Pokémon that has evolved from Diglett at level 28. Now, by the time it evolves, it will have already learned Scratch, Growl, Dig, and Sand Attack. Dig is absolutely abusive, and be very, very careful of it. Now, Dugtrio got its name from the fact that it likes to dig, and it has three heads. Now, we have no intent of actually staying in this tunnel. We're just going to catch a Diglett and get right back out. We have more important things to do. Oh, this could be bad, but... Now you know what they look like. This could be very bad. So we are going to Ember, dug a hole. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so what we're going to try then is we're going to throw in Pidgeotto and we're going to hope. And hopefully Dig won't do... Oh, see, that's beautiful. It just does not affect things in the air. Hey, who would have ever guessed? The problem with that is that, well, we're not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage either. But, at least Pidgeotto will end up um, neutralizing that dig attack. So, we may be able to do this pretty well. And this is great. It looks like Pidgeotto is going to take this dig uh, dug trio out, which is wonderful. I would have never guessed that. Perfect. Now, we are still on the hunt for a Diglett, and as soon as we catch one, we're out of here. And there you go, there's your Diglett right there. So, 
At this level, it does not have dig, so that will help. I'm going to use Ember on it to see if that does any perfect. Absolutely perfect. And burn, so it uses scratch. That's totally fine. Hurt by the burn, don't kill it. Perfect. So we are going to throw out a Pokeball. We are going to catch this Diglett. Oh, yes, we are. I am sure of it. And there we go. Diglett is caught. New Pokedex will be added for Diglett. And there you go. No, I don't want to give a nickname to Diglett. Transfer to Bill's PC, and we are out of here. Now, wouldn't it be a wonderful thing if we would actually go and take on a trainer now? But, you know, I still haven't talked to you yet. I think you're the only person in this town I haven't spoken to. Caught a Squirtle, always getting into mischief. Oh, you mean the one with the sunglasses from the animated series. Oh, well, I tell you what. We are just about to go into this gym. How about if we ask them, and maybe, just maybe, there will be a good trainer in there that we can give this thing to. Pokemon Gym? Okay. The Lightning American? Oh, no. This could be very bad. Champ of the making. Yeah. The Lightning American. Okay. Expert on electric? Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. No birds, no water. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, no. Leader, Lieutenant Surge. Wait, who's Gary? Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. We are going to use several different Pokemon for this, but let's start this out this way. This particular trainer is a Sailor with a level 24 Magnemite. So, now I'm actually not too worried about it. His Sonic Boom is going to really mess us up. No real surprise, but... Uh, I'm going to see what I can do with it. I don't think that we can burn it, and I know it isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, but I'm just going to keep using Ember until I start taking a little bit too much damage. As long as he keeps missing, there's no point in me switching out, though. There we go. I was kind of waiting for that, but we're going to try and... Oh, yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll be okay. Provided his next attack hits, and it did... So, Magnemite is in... well, gone. And Charmeleon grows to level 24. Trying to learn Rage, you know, I'm going to do it. But the reality is, I actually really don't like Rage. Um, I'm going to lose Growl. But Rage is one of those moves where you can't get out of it. As long as you use Rage, it continues to work for as long as Charmeleon is in the battle. The only way to stop it is to pull him from the battle. And that really stinks. I mean, you're stuck to one move. Double locks. Here's the hint. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. Oh, wow. Now, this next trainer that we're going to go to is a junior trainer with three Voltorbs. Okay. All of them are level 20, so we do not have to worry about that self-destruct as Voltorb learns it at level 22. So Sonic Boom is still going to be very bad for us, but I think we'll be able to get through it. Like last attack, I am just going to use Ember, and when Charmeleon starts taking too much damage, then I'm going to pull him out. But I think for now we should be okay. Hopefully we'll be able to do... Okay, this is good. This is good. <clears throat> Wonderful, okay. So Charmeleon sent, beat the first one, and he sends out a second. I'm going to continue with Ember. Now Charmeleon's defense is dropping a lot. So, um, that means Sonic Boom is going to do a lot more damage to us. And it sh we should be able to take one more hit before we have to switch out. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. With the, with the defeat of the second Voltorb, we're actually going to switch in to... Pidgeotto, which is, I realize, not a good idea. But Pidgeotto has got a very good quick attack that will probably do some decent damage. I'm not even going to bother with Whirlwind. 
as we can't use it inside of a trainer battle anyway, so that's fine. And here we go, one more shot, can we do it? Oh yes we can, perfect. And Charmeleon and Pidgeotto have both gained some experience. Yeah. Okay. The door switch is inside something. I bet it's trash cans. Okay, now we take one more step up and we run into a gentleman with a level 22 Magnemite and a level 22 Voltorb. Well, that level 22 Voltorb means self-destruct. And now that we know and we're prepared, let's do it. Oh boy. Okay, so this should be fun. A level 22 Magnemite and a level 22 Voltorb. So, out comes the Voltorb. You know what? I'm totally fine with that. We're going to use Charmeleon. Charmeleon is going to Ember. Screech is always going to be fun. So we're going to use Ember, and we're going to hope that I can get one more shot in. Good deal. This is great. This is actually very good. So now he's used two. I'm actually going to switch into that sixth party member. Why? Because it seems to me that he's going to self-destruct. And I don't actually want to take any of my uh, real party out. So Scratch is going to do absolutely no damage, and that's what I thought. Perfect. So what's going to end up happening in this is Sandshrew is out, Voltorb is out, and Charmeleon gains all the experience because he's the only one left surviving. So now we bring back Charmeleon, and out comes that Magnemite. Oh yeah, see I had a plan. The whole time I had a plan. And that is going to help a lot. So, with this, we should actually be able to take out Magnemite with just Charmeleon. And we did. Perfect. You're very good. Well, thank you very much. The door won't open. Well, it's because I haven't done any of the test stuff yet. Yeah, I bet he was. <clears throat> so, let's actually start this thing. Nope, only trash. This could take a very long time. And it's unfortunate, but it is random. It is totally random. And the worst part is even if you do actually find the switch, it could be in the second switch could actually be in one you've already checked. Which makes things worse. Okay, so we know that one of the switches is at least in the last row. But that doesn't mean that the second switch is in the last row. Hey, there's a switch! So now here's the problem. It could be in this one, or it could be in this one. And that's kind of a gamble. I'm going to try this one. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. So, now... Here is Lieutenant Surge. Raichu is an electric type that has evolved from Pikachu with the use of a Thunderstone. All of Raichu's moves and attacks are going to have to be learned from TMs and HMs, because as Raichu, it doesn't learn anything on its own. If you evolve Raichu as early as you can, it will still have Thundershock and Growl, because Pikachu learns both of those at level 1. Now, Pikachu's name came from Pika, which is Spark or Sparkle, let's say Lightning, and Chu, which is Kiss. Raichu got its name from ra part of the word for Thunder, and Chu, which is also Kiss. Lieutenant Surge has got a level 28 Raichu, and the only thing that I know that's been added to its moveset is Mega Punch. This thing is not going to be easy at all. However... The big problem we're facing right now is we're running low on time. So I am going to have to leave you on the cusp of a third gym battle and cut the episode. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Rev, taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. Your required viewing and reading list for next time is Of Mice and Men, Willard, and Runaway Ralph. Thanks for watching. Until next time.